And with dust in the air, this can be the time of year where it's tough for people who are more likely to catch valley fever. Max Gordon caught up with a local physician about what to look for and what to do if you think you have valley fever. In Arizona, clear skies can quickly turn to towering walls of dust, but it turns out that the stuff floating in that airborne dirt can make you sick. The dust storms, those are the times of the year when we see an uptake of these cases. Valley fever is caused by a fungus found in southwestern soil. Dust storms, they basically will kick up the dirt and soil that carry the spores of this fungal infection. So the more that people are exposed to it, the higher the chances that they will get it. And people with weakened immune systems are most likely to fall sick. It's usually people who have symptoms of fever and cough that don't get better after a couple of days or that do not respond to standard treatment for a pneumonia, they should all be tested for valley fever. <coughs> Luckily, valley fever isn't contagious. So someone whoever acquires valley fever does not have the risk of spreading it to their family members or their children at home. And while it's tough to prevent it, it is treatable. If we catch it early and treat it enough, then their symptoms will resolve within four to six weeks of treatment. However, if it goes untreated, then they may keep on progressing for several months to years. Which highlights the need to see a doctor as soon as possible if you think you might have valley fever. Max Gordon, Arizona's family.